Hey y'all, welcome to Monday Night Live. I'm Emily Haas, Senior Ruby Ambassador, and tonight we're gonna to talk about something really, really important, and that is how to develop silvers. So outside of consistency, right, showing up in your business every day, developing silvers is probably the next secret in the business to help you move forward, create momentum and be successful because you can go so far on your own, but to get to leadership levels and go to the top of the company, you really have to know how to develop silvers. You have to teach people how to do what you're doing so that your team can grow. And side note, it's not very fun alone. So you want to be developing silvers. You want your team to grow because I'm telling you, it is much more fun when you're doing this with your friends. So I'm gonna share my screen and we've got a lot of slides tonight. So I wanted to give y'all all the best information. Um, we've got a lot of slides. I'm gonna try not to take all night to go through them, but we will see um, how it goes. But I hope that this is gonna be really, really helpful for y'all. Let me move this so I can see. Okay, so developing silvers. Can y'all see that? Can you see my screen? Okay, perfect. Um, fix this where I can read my slides. <clears throat> okay, developing silvers. What we're going to do, I'm going to walk you step by step through my process, okay? Our team is in full momentum right now, which is really fun. Um, and we had 11 silvers last month and want to continue that trend. And I want to show y'all how we do it, how we're walking these girls from start to silver and beyond, because we definitely don't want to stop at silver. That is never our goal, okay? So developing silver is a step-by-step -step guide. Now, why should you want to go silver and help other people do the same? Well, one really good reason is accountability. So accountability is the number one thing that people need for success, not just in this business, not just with their health goals, but really with anything in life that you're trying to do, right? You've heard a million times, if you're going to the gym, get an accountability partner, because if you are supposed to be showing up at five o'clock in the morning, you're gonna be a lot more likely to do that on a consistent basis if you know somebody is there waiting for you, right? So accountability, people need it for success and it's our responsibility to show our new people coming in the importance of it so that they can help get their friends on board. We want to help them do that. Accountability also creates a community and culture of health and happiness. That is what we want. We want a bunch of healthy and happy people around us and having an accountability partner is gonna improve your success rate with your products by 80%. And that's fantastic, y'all. We want people to get their best results on their products because this is a long-term health solution. We don't want people coming in, you know, for a month, two months, and then dipping out. We want them to have long-term success. So the second reason that we want to help people go silver is because it helps our retention rates. People who are happy product users continue taking their products, right? And 85% of people who go silver will still be using their products a year from now. That's huge. That's huge for them for their results. That's huge for you and your business. If you had a retention rate of 85%, that would be incredible. And the one way to do that is to help your people go silver so they are getting the best results on their products because they're doing it with their friends and they're working to help their friends go silver as well. That is the ultimate goal, right? So long-term product users are going to be reflected in your retention rates. Okay, this was something I wrote out that I really wanted to make sure that everybody walked away from this call with this right here. Duplication starts with you, the leader. If you have one person on your team, congratulations, you are officially a leader, okay? 
your duplication is directly rooted in your belief. It all starts with your belief. And your belief or lack of is evident in your posture and boldness in sharing both the products and the opportunity. That belief is going to come across in conversations you're having. And it's also going to come across in your posts on Facebook and in your brand as a whole, right? You can definitely tell people who have really strong, solid belief and people who are a little iffy still. It shows and it's very evident in conversation and in their posting. So your belief and your excitement level are both contagious. If yours are lacking, it's okay. You can go build them. And in the meantime, you can borrow somebody else's. We've well, probably heard leaders say, you know, I had to borrow belief from my sponsor until I got my own. That's totally okay. There are lots of ways you can build your belief. And I'm going to tell you, there's not much more exciting than getting new joins on your team. But even beyond that, what's even more exciting is watching your level one get their first level one. And then watching that level one get their first level one. When that starts happening, it is really fun and it is really exciting and that is contagious. And when you are sharing about these things, people who are outside looking in watching, they see that excitement and they want to be part of it because FOMO is real y'all. Share things that are happening on your team that are exciting and let people watch this journey because it's really, really exciting. Okay, so the power of three. You've heard about this, but what is it? What does it mean for your business? Well, starts with you here in the middle. This little pink person, that's you. Let's just say you get your three joints, okay? You've got three people on your team. Let's say two of them go out and get three people. And then they get three people and they get three people. Eventually, your one little person that started there in the middle now is a senior gold because there's 52 bubbles on this little thing that I made. Um, and that is the power of three. It takes you from your own effort to exponential growth and being compensated for the work of many people versus just your own people versus just your own efforts. And that's where we see residual income. And y'all, if you're not familiar with residual income, you're going to want to be, look it up, figure out what it is. Basically, it means getting paid all the time, whether you're working or not, because of this particular thing here where you're getting paid on the efforts of many people versus just your own, right? So that is the power of three that we've got a couple of great videos in the team page on the power of three if you want to go deeper into that, but it is really powerful. That's why we call it the power of three. Okay, so all that's great. That's fantastic. But how do we actually develop silvers? Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You most likely are not going to find people just beating down your door. They're not standing there going, hello, hello, I want to go silver. I want to build a team. Most people aren't going to do that. You may find one random person occasionally who comes in and is ready to just rock and roll. But for the most part, you have to develop these people. And that comes through cast and vision. And that starts during the recruiting process. So just know this, you don't find silvers, you don't find business builders, you create them, okay? Duplication actually starts during the recruiting process. Now, we're not going to talk, we're not going to go in depth on recruiting tonight. We've got lots of great training videos on that, but I did want to kind of walk y'all through a little bit just because it is part of the process of developing silvers because we're going to start talking about the opportunity during the recruiting process. So top tips for recruiting are keep it simple, use tools, and don't be the expert. There's no need for you to be the expert because we have lots of tools that you can use, right? So during the recruiting process, when you're talking to people, you're sharing products with them, you're sending videos, whatever, you're going to be planting seeds about the opportunity all during that, right? We're going to ask questions. We want to know what people dream about. What are their pain points? What is it in their life that maybe they're not happy with? Or maybe they are really happy with, but maybe they would like to do something a little different. Who knows? But ask a lot of questions. And then also 
post about the opportunity, y'all. You're going to attract what you're putting out there, right? So if all you're doing is talking about products, 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 guess what you're going to attract? A lot of people who want to use a lot of products. And that's good because we do need people that use products because if it wasn't for the products, we wouldn't have this opportunity. But we want to be posting about the opportunity just as much because we want business builders. We want leaders to be attracted to us, right? So by the time somebody joins me, they are well aware that Plexus comes with an incredible opportunity because I talk about it all the time all the time. So if you are wanting to grow your business, if you have diamond dreams, you need to be sharing about this opportunity and planting seeds through your conversations, but also through your posts. So this page here is a basically a flow chart of what to do when you get a new joint. Now, you don't have to screenshot this or anything. Um, I actually am going to post a printable version along with the call when I get it in the team page so that you will have it and it's going to be in a landscape view so it's easier to read. But um, we want to make this duplication process as simple and duplicatable as, pro as um, possible, right? So Every new join comes in, we should follow the same basic steps. It's all going to look a little different just because people are different, but it should follow the same basic steps every time. We're going to get them in the team page. We're going to begin the customer care system. This number three is really where the magic starts with developing silvers. Get your new person on a welcome call with your sponsor. Don't skip that step. It may scare you, it scared me, but I promise it's worth it. We're gonna walk through this in the next few slides, but do not skip the step of getting on a welcome call with your sponsor. When you get on this welcome call, your sponsor is gonna cast vision. They're gonna validate what you've been saying, and then they're gonna help you move your new person toward sharing these products and this opportunity, okay? so. The process and action. Here's what this is going to look like. Now, I got Haley's permission to share these slides from our early on conversation when she was first joining and I was working toward getting her to share because she came in not really, you know, not gung ho to start sharing, but I wanted to show y'all what this process looked like with her. So process and action. We're going to share tools for sure, right? We're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're going to have consistent and bold branding. Haley had been watching me. She knew that this came with an opportunity and that I was crazy passionate about it. I got on the phone to walk her through the joining process. At this point in my business as a senior Ruby, I'm not taking every new join to Brittany to do a welcome call, right? I'm capable of that myself at this point because I have done it and heard it and heard it and done it, right? So I'm not taking her to Brittany, but most of you will take your new person to your sponsor and let them help you with this part of the process. And then we're going to utilize the customer care retention system, okay? So um, this is Haley, and I just want to show y'all here very beginning. I'm not perfect at this. <laughs> I had actually dropped the ball on the follow up with Haley and she reached out to me after seeing a post of mine and wanted the triplex video again that I had sent her previously. So I sent her the triplex video. She's ready to go. What I wanted you to see on this slide is that I got on the phone to walk her through joining. So I can walk you through it real quick. If you've got a few minutes now, it's super simple. Sure, sounds good. Okay, so I give her a call and then I start the customer care retention system. If you're not familiar with that, it's posted in the announcements in Freedom Team. You need to be familiar. You need to save it in your notes on your phone and you need to use it with every join you have. It is worth its weight in gold, okay? So, got on the phone with her, did a welcome call as I walked her through the joining process. So, why do we do welcome calls? Well, the first and main reason is because they work. 
They just simply work. And I had heard and heard and heard diamond after diamond say, get on the phone with your people. It makes a huge difference. Well, they were not wrong. I was hesitant. I did not enjoy talking on the phone um, because it was not my safe place, right? When I'm behind the computer and I'm doing a message, I can make sure that it's perfect. If somebody asks me a question or gives me an objection, I have time to sit and think about my response before I give it back to them, right? Well, on the phone, you don't have that option. That's just not a luxury you have on the phone, but we have to be okay with that because of the power of having an in-person on the phone conversation, right? So it's your job to sell the call to your new join. They, they, this is going to be a foreign concept to them. And so you have to really sell the call to them. These two sample messages over here on the side are exactly how we get people on welcome calls. This is what we say. Um, I'm not going to walk through both of them, but basically it's just saying, hey, I'm excited for you to get started. I really love you to meet my friend Emily. She helped me get started. She's going to be an extra support for you and going to help me help you get the best results, right? So these are two different versions. The top one is brand new person just joined today. We're going to get her on a welcome call. The second one is maybe you have somebody on your team that you have not yet done a welcome call with and they've been on the products for a little bit, that's okay. You can still go in now and do this welcome call and just introduce them to your sponsor because what that's going to do is give them an additional layer of support and it's going to provide third-party validation for everything that you've told her up to this point. Um, and so definitely, definitely you can do that now even if they've been on the products for a minute. So another reason we do this is for connection, okay? People will stay with Plexus for our culture and community when they won't stay for any other reason, okay? This culture, this team that we have is incredible. Our people are top notch. They are amazing. And you should want to connect and plug your new people into our community at every available opportunity. Welcome calls are a great way to do that because they're not just getting plugged in, they're getting one on one time. And that is really powerful. So, when do you ask for the welcome call? You do it when you're on the phone enrolling them because you should be on the phone enrolling your people or you can do it in a voice message after they've enrolled, okay? Um, so what I want to tell you is that welcome calls are powerful. We did nine welcome calls. Haley and I did nine welcome calls in March, I believe. And out of those nine, six went silver that month. Those are really powerful numbers. And so if you doubt the effectiveness of them, just remember six out of nine went silver that month, most of which were fast start. So they're really powerful and they really work. And I also want you to remember that everyone can do this, but not everyone will do this because it does take being willing to get uncomfortable. Welcome calls were uncomfortable for me, y'all. I put them off for a long time. But I knew where I was headed and I knew that if I wanted to be a diamond, I needed to do what diamonds do. And I heard time and time again to get on the phone and do calls with your people. So welcome calls. Do not miss this step. Okay, so what do you say on a welcome call? This girl in the background in this picture really makes me laugh. First of all, y'all, I just wanted to share that with you. The one in the front looks usually how I look when I'm doing welcome calls in my car, riding down the road, um, but, and happy because I really enjoy them now. But anyway, side note, um, welcome calls. What do we say on the welcome calls? That is the biggest question I get. Um, so your job, when you're bringing a newbie to your sponsor to do a welcome call, your job is to get on the phone, get your sponsor and your newbie on the phone, you're going to introduce them to each other and then mute yourself and let your sponsor take over from there. So we're gonna pretend I'm the sponsor in this 
scenario. So what I'm going to do is connect with this new girl and I'm going to say, hey, Katie, it's so nice to talk with you. Haley tells me that you're a teacher. That's great. Did you get any fun things for Teacher Appreciation Week? And she's going to say whatever she says. Um, and then I'm going to say, OK, great. Well, listen, what I really want to do is just share my story with you real quick and then answer any questions you have. It's, is that OK? And she's going to say, sure. So I'm going to share my story keep it really short. I'm talking two to three minutes at the most. And the reason why is because I have a lot of other things I want to talk about, right? And it really doesn't matter my story so much. She wants to know what this is going to do for her. So I'm going to share my story a little bit. Now, if this is somebody that I already know is really open to the opportunity, I'm going to keep my product story really short and then talk heavier opportunity. If I'm not sure where they're at yet, I'm going to keep it about even, right, product and opportunity as far as my story goes. So I'm going to share my story, and then when I'm done, I'll say, well, listen, do you have any questions for me at this point? about anything and they may ask me something you know like can I have two pink drinks a day or whatever they're going to ask so I'll ask that and then I will say every single time listen I'm just curious have you thought about doing this have you thought about sharing this with any of your friends and then I just wait and they usually will say yeah but and this is where you get to learn the skill of handling objections Objections are not scary and they should not bother you. They just simply mean that somebody does not know enough at this point and they're looking to you for answers, okay? Um, so we'll just take Haley, for example. She told me, yeah, I have considered it, but I really feel like I need to believe in what I'm doing before I start sharing. And so I handled that and I said, you know what? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I totally feel the same way. You should believe in what you're doing. What I found really quickly is that everybody around me was struggling with something and these products could help them. And so it didn't take me long to learn that I could share with them, you know, and we could build our stories and belief together. So you just handle that objection and gauge their openness to the opportunity, right? And continue casting vision at this point for either the opportunity if they're really open to it or if they are just closed they're not open to the opportunity i'll continue to cast vision for what the products can do for them right because we still want them to get the best results on their products um, if they are open to the opportunity what I usually will do is start sharing about our fast start program at this point and i'll say you know, well, listen, we have this great program for new people coming in that really want to get three of their friends on board quickly to, you know, for accountability, but also to cover the cost of their products and then just see where this can go from there. If you were to get three of your friends on board this month, you're going to earn 200 extra dollars. How does that sound? And then they usually say, well, I mean, that sounds great. And I say, OK, well, listen, if we could show you how to do that, does that something sound like something that you'd be open to doing? And they usually will say yes. Um, sometimes people say, you know, no, I'm not sure. I think I still want to wait. And that's OK. We'll handle that objection. Um, but if they say yes, I will say, OK, great. Well, listen, what I like to do first with people who are wanting to get their friends on board is to do a post on Facebook. That's just a great way to tell people what you're doing and that you're excited about, it's a great way to get it out to a lot of people all at once. So does that sound like something you'd wanna do? We can send you a couple of little templates that you could choose from, put up a cute picture with it. And then um, we'll see, you know, if anybody is open to hearing more about it. Does, how does that sound? And they'll usually say yes. And so at that point, um, what I will do is say, Haley, do we have a chat going with Katie yet? And she'll say, no, you know, I don't think we do, but I'll go ahead and start one right now. And so she'll go ahead and start that chat. Um, and I'll say, okay, thanks. I appreciate that. So Katie, what we're gonna do is once we get off the phone, I'm gonna drop a couple of sample post in the chat for you. Fill them out, see which one sounds like you. You can use them as is. You can tweak them to sound more like you. Or you can use it to inspire you to write your own post. We have people do 
each of those all the time. So just put up a cute picture with it, tag it, tag Haley in it, and then make sure it's public and we'll get a few of our friends to comment on it too, just to give it more exposure. And so we'll close out the call, you know, be excited for them, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we'll transition over to the chat. Okay, so first post. We've closed out the phone call, right? And now we're in the chat. And so what I send every time is, let me get here on the phone. Here are some first post examples. You can tweak it to sound like you in your heart or you can write up your own. Put up a fun picture with it and you'll be all set. We're happy to look over anything before you post. That's what we put in the chat. And then I share one to two sample posts, never more than that because that is overwhelming and you're the expert in this situation. So they're looking to you to tell them what to post, right? So one to two at the very most. Um, get them to include a few pic a cute picture and then get a few of your friends to comment on it. So I'm going to share four different posts with y'all. I'm not going to read through them. You can read through them. They'll be in the recording. Um, but these are different girls from my team and these are my top four favorite posts. Okay. So this is Haley and this is a post about somebody brand new out the gate just getting started looking for an accountability partner okay now here we have Mackenzie and katie and tara these are different posts they all are similar in the fact that they are exciting they're short they are genuine to these girls right and they all end with a question we want to know who is seeing this that wants more information, okay? So not gonna read these, but y'all can read through them um, or watch the video again and they will be there. Okay, so they've done their post, but now what do you do? Well, first thing you're gonna do is recognize that they did something scary because first, first posts are typically scary for people. Um, that's not something that's, you know, in their comfort zone. So if they've done that, if they've gotten out of that comfort zone and posted, celebrate that, that they took the action, they did something brave. Um, we're going to talk about expectations, you know, what to expect with the first post, let them know. It may, you know, get 100 likes on it or it may fall flat. There is no telling which is going to happen. Both are okay and neither is an indicator of their long-term success, okay? Um, we're going to tell them how to respond when somebody comments and says, I want more information. We're going to send message templates to connect with people who like and or comment on their post. And then again, we're going to have a few of our friends comment on their post, which is going to get it more exposure, but it also provides validation for their friends who are seeing the post. Okay, so over here on the right side, to respond to comments on a post, it's simple. You just say, if somebody says, send me some information or tell me what you're doing, you just say, okay, awesome, I'll shoot your message. And that's it. We're not going to get into a long conversation in a comments on a post about what we're doing. We're just going to shoot them a message. There's a message here that we're going to send to somebody that responds in the comments. So we've told them we're going to shoot them a message. Now, the second one here in the middle is what we are actually going to send as the message. Okay. And then what I do is go ahead and send Christina's triplex video here because typically I would ask, you know, hey, if I sent you a quick video, would you watch it? Well, they've already told me they want more information by commenting on the post saying I want more information. So I'm just going to go ahead and send the video, but I'm going to say, when do you think you can watch it? And that's going to let your person know when to follow up with them, right? So that's why that is there with the video. Um, and then for people who just like and comment on the post, just kind of generically, um, we're going to send this bottom message here and just let them know we really appreciate them supporting us. Um, would love to share more. Can we send them a video? Okay, they've posted. We're working on sending messages, all the things, but now what? 
I'm going to take them to the five steps to silver video series. It's posted in our guides and freedom team. And the reason we're going to use this is because tools are our best friend. We don't have to be the expert. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. Brooke Hemingway and Emily Gibson made these videos several years ago. They're both diamonds now. It obviously works what they are sharing with us. And we're just going to use that, right? It's really simple. Five little videos that help people do what they need to do to go silver. Okay, so this is my conversation with Haley, more of it. Um, and she already had one join at this point, I believe. Um, but she was still not all in, right? We were still working through this process of going silver. I'm still working to cast vision for her because I definitely see her potential and I want her to be all in, but she's not there yet. So, but she had watched the five steps to silver videos. And so over here on the left, she's telling me she listened, but she doesn't know how to do a three-way chat, whatever. Um, I'm just, you know, telling her that's okay we'll work through that um but really what i want you to see is here in the middle and on the right so this at the top is the voice message that you see down there um, where i responded to her so what i'm doing here is validating and recognizing that she took initiative and watched these videos that i had told her about um, congratulating her on that it's awesome you watch the videos it's a great series we're going to go into vision casting here okay um, Brooke and Emily are now diamonds. Brooke's actually a double diamond because once you hit diamond, you can actually sponsor yourself and build a whole other diamond team. So she's diamond and her husband is diamond, which is incredible. And she's making like a bazillion dollars, not even kidding. But yes, three-way chats are powerful. And anytime you're ready and have somebody you want help with, go ahead and start one and I'll pop in. That's casting vision for her. That's letting her know this is a huge opportunity, right? Um, wow, that's amazing is what she says. And then we just kind of go from there with the chats. And then I'm going to continue this vision casting. She's already familiar with Brooke and Emily because she's watched that Five Steps to Silver series. So now what I'm going to do is go in and share Brooke's Diamond Doc with her. And so I said, here's Brooke's Diamond Doc. She's amazing. Once you hit Diamond, Plexus sends a film crew out to film your story. We actually got to film my best friends Brittany's and Christina's Diamond Docs this year, which was so exciting. So I've cast vision and shown her that Brooke is a diamond and has her diamond dog, which is really cool, by the way, y'all, to have your story filmed. But not only Brooke, who she doesn't know and is far away, but also Brittany and Christina, who are in very close proximity. So this is important because a lot of companies that people have been part of, they are always top leaders, but the leaders are far off, right? And they have no connection to them. Here on our team, we have a lot of really incredible top-notch leaders, several diamonds, lots of jewels in very, very close proximity. And you need to use that to your advantage because that speaks volumes to people, okay? And it shows them what is really possible. So that's that, cast more vision. She's like, oh, that's incredible. And I'm like, isn't it? It's what's possible for you too. And so planting those seeds, planting those seeds. Okay, so now I've sent the Brooke Hemingway videos. We've talked about, you know, she could go diamond too. Um, and she already had one join at this point. So here's where I did a little math, showed her what the fast start potential would be for her in December if she was to get these other two joins. This is on December 30th, by the way. Um, and she did go silver in December. So um, just showed her that math there. That's really powerful for people to show them what's possible for them immediately. Um, and she was definitely interested. And she says, I think I just need some sort of game plan for sharing. And I'm like, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> so what I did is come in next and say, okay, I'm going to send you this link that is great for helping you think of people to reach out to. My top tip here is if somebody comes to your mind, write them down. Don't tell yourself all the reasons they wouldn't want to do it. It's your job to share and it's their job to make the decision. So I send her this great tool that corporate has given us in the virtual office. It's the leads you didn't know you had PDF. I use that a lot. It just helps people think of people to talk to. So 
she's wanting to reach out to more friends, I'm going to help her do that by sharing this PDF. Then we're going to set a goal for how many people she's wanting to connect with initially. Now, she's not just going to come up with this number by herself. I'm going to suggest a number. She was already moving and doing things. She was watching videos. She had a join at this point. So I may say, okay, listen, do you think, you know, could you come reach out to 10 people today? How does that sound? Does that sound like something that you'd be able to do? And she may say, yeah, I can do that. And then just run, right? Or she may kind of hesitate and not feel good about 10 people. So I'll lower that and I'll say, okay, that's fine. What about five people or eight people? How does that sound? Do either one of those sound like something that you'd be able to do today? And then she'll say, yeah, that sounds great. So I put that time frame on it because of accountability. It gives her accountability to make it happen because she's told me to, but it also holds me accountable to following up with her to make sure that she has done that, right? So if she tells me she's going to do it by tonight, I need to check in with her in the morning to see if she did that, not three days from now. Right. Um, and then again, I'm going to share one to two message templates, not more than that, because of overwhelm. We're the experts. We're going to send them what to send. Right. One to two. Let them pick which one sounds most like them. They can tweak it, all of that kind of stuff. And then we're going to set expectations for responses. Um, OK, let's see. These are message templates for new contacts. I'm not going to read them, but basically take time to connect with your very warm market, which people who are just going silver are in their very warm market. That's people that they are closest to. Take time to connect. Say something like, hey, Susie, listen, I saw your mom at church Sunday. She told me your kid had been sick. How is he? And then go into your message, right? Don't just jump into Plexus without connecting. Take time to connect, but it does not take a long time. Keep it authentic to you and then share your excitement and why you thought of them. So basically, the process of a message is you're excited. You thought of them because can you tell them more about why you're excited? This, that's what it looks like in a nutshell, okay? So that's for new contacts. These are my top two go-to messages. Okay, so what are realistic expectations when reaching out? One in 10 response rates, totally normal. Now, if you're in your warm market, people closest to you, this number is going to be much higher. But keep in mind that it typically takes between 8 and 12 exposures with some, before somebody makes a purchasing decision. This is whether it's warm market or not, okay? Um, most people are not, you're not going to say, hey, can I tell you about Plexus? And they're going to say, sure, I'd like to join you. It's going to be a process. Um, expectations, people will say no. They're not saying no to you as a person, just to what you're sharing for now. No does not mean no forever. It means no for right now. They likely have misconceptions of Plexus. They may think it's just some weight loss scheme or something, right? Um, or they just simply don't know what they don't know. It's our job to tell them, right? We want to give them the correct information and educate them. Also, let them know people will ignore them. It's okay. It's just part of it. They likely got busy and forgot to respond. Anybody ever been in the line at Target with a kid pulling on you and you get a text message and you forget it until four days later? That happens to other people too. So give them the benefit of the doubt and follow up. Um, Plexus is your priority. If you're working to go silver, it's your priority, it's on your mind, but it's likely not their priority at this point. So keep that in mind. And also remember, if people ignore you, it does not mean they hate you or they think you're annoying, I promise. It just means you need to follow up. Okay, message templates for follow up. Also not gonna read through these, but um, top tips, take time to connect always, keep it authentic to you, vary your approach each time, and then keep your focus on what's in it for them, okay? So these are four different templates. One is, hey, you ignored me, but I'm going to let you off the hook, and we're going to pretend it was a mistake, whether it was or not. Number two is, I'm going to invite you to an event that my friends are doing. Events are powerful, y'all. Utilize them. Plug yourself and your team into them, okay? Number three, um, hey, I'm just curious. I sent you a video. You have not told me your thoughts on it. 
I'm curious what they are. Number four is we're having a sale. You're a very important person. I want to keep you in the loop and let you know about that in case you're ready to go. So these are messages for follow up and you'll help your new person with these. OK, by when they have people who respond to their messages, tell them, listen, when you have somebody that responds, shoot me a screenshot and I can tell you exactly what to say back to them, show you videos that you can send, help you find stories to share and all of those kind of things. You're never in this alone. I will be here with you every step of the way. Okay, top tips. Now, I'm not going to take credit for these on my own. This is a lot of Haley, I asked her to help me what her top tips are because she is definitely killing it with silvers on her team. And this is a lot of her top tips. Number one is to get organized. And that doesn't mean you have to be Martha Stewart. It just means get a notebook. So take note of anybody who shows interest in sharing. When you're doing these welcome calls, you should be, as the sponsor, taking notes of what is being said on the call. Listen for pain points. Listen for what their dreams are. Listen for what they would do with $500 to $1,000 to $5,000 every month. Listen for those things, make note of them, um, make note of their goals, and then any friends that they've talked to that are open, make note of these things so that you can continue to help them, right? You're going to connect frequently, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. You should basically be talking to your newbies, especially if they're wanting to go silver every single day. Follow up share the next steps with them. When you've sent them videos to watch, when they've watched Five Steps to Silver or anything else that you've sent them along the way, follow up, get their takeaways from it and talk about it together. Any incentives that we have as a team or that corporate puts out, share those things with your newbie and give them opportunities to plug in. Y'all, we have so much on this team for people to get plugged into and everybody needs to be connected. So share Monday Night Lives, get them on these calls. They are invaluable. Share book studies, get them on the book studies. They are invaluable. Any, if there is a live event anywhere that you can drive to, get yourself there because you should not miss any event, period. Um, and then get your people to them, get plugged in. We have so many top leaders on our team now who decided to go all in after attending a live event, okay? Get to them, use them, get your people there. They are powerful. Um, basically, just stay in front of your people and remind them that you're there, right? You're there, you're there to help them be successful. You want them to be successful. Utilize three-way chats, okay? We started that chat when we were on the phone with the welcome call. It doesn't do you any good to start the call and then you don't use it anymore. Use the chat. It's going to connect your newbie with your sponsor and they're going to have an extra layer of support. Plus, you're the connection there between sponsor and newbie. If you are in the chat using it all the time, your newbie is going to be so much more comfortable with your sponsor than if you just were not using the chat ever and then you come in and say, Hey, Emily, Susie over here is really struggling. She cannot stay out of the bathroom. Can you help us with her bio cleanse dosage? Susie's going to be like, no, I don't know, Emily, and I'm not talking to her about my bathroom habits right now. So it's your job to keep the conversation in that chat so that when things come up, Susie is comfortable, right? Keep it in there. That support and validation is invaluable. And then again, for the hundredth time, plug your people into our community. It is amazing and there's nothing else like it and everybody needs to be part of it and get your people plugged in. And this quote here at the end, Haley sent in a chat earlier, she was just talking and she sent this to me and I said, that is really powerful. Um, don't discredit what this community can mean to people. We have lots of people on our team that are here and they show up all the time simply because of our community. 
it really means a lot to people and people are hungry for community y'all we're more connected than ever but there's so many people out there that feel more alone than ever we have something special most people don't even know exist and it's our job to show it to them and bring it to them okay so that's it you went silver you can show your friends how to do the same on repeat and that's it that's all i have um that was yeah that's it go help your people get silver and teach them to do the same y'all because that's where movement happens and that's where momentum happens and i'm telling you movement and momentum is real fun and momentum creates more momentum creates more momentum so get excited and go teach your people how to go silver and beyond because we never want to stop at silver we want to teach our silvers to teach their people so that they can hit senior silver and gold and senior gold and ruby and senior ruby and emerald and sapphire and diamond that's the goal it's never to stop at silver so that's it. Y'all have a good night.